I am at the crossroads between waking and dream. One path leads back to the world I left behind. The other path... The other path leads to a place of shadows. Between the familiar and the unknown, between certainty and doubt, my choice would seem obvious. Any sane man would turn around, return to the world he knows, forget what he has learned, and live his life in blissful ignorance. But in truth, it is too late. My choice was made many years ago, when I first embarked on this journey. I cannot turn back. I am at a crossroads. But for me, there is only one path. I leave behind these words in the hope that someday they will serve as a map for someone else. To whomever reads this, Godspeed on your journey. If you ever decide to follow in my footsteps, look me up. Brian Westhouse. We are ready, travelers. Your I've asked the monks to take care of my journal. Hopefully it will enlighten someone else's journey. The life of the Lama is as hard as their beds. Where I'm going, I won't be needing a backpack. Those are money wheels. Imprinted with the mantra, Aum Mani Padme Hum. That door leads to the other half of the monastery. He's meditating. I shouldn't disturb him. They must have noticed me. They've stopped whispering. He's, he's meditating. He He's waiting for me to step into the circle.
，旅行者，请走到高坛上来They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That might be true in most cases. Sometimes, however, the two are one and the same. My name is Zoe Castillo. I don't usually look this pale, but that's what you get for being in a coma. That's my father, Gabriel. I'm all he's got in this world. My mother died 15 years ago, and I don't have any siblings. I think he'll be very lonely when I'm gone. I wish I could have talked to him one last time, let him know that everything will be okay. But that would be a lie. The only thing I could have said is goodbye. Since I'm lying in that bed, but I'm talking to you from out here, I guess this is what they call an out-of-body experience. I'm not sure anyone can hear me, but I've had some experience with voices from the grave recently, so I'm giving it a shot. Bad things are happening, and everyone who knows the truth is either dead or has vanished off the face of the earth. If I can get through to someone, anyone, maybe something can be done. So if you can hear me, please listen. This is very, very important. It might just be the most important thing ever. You'll have to forgive me for using the oldest cliche in the book. It all began when. Causing the unfortunate cow to implode, Ryan. No, <laughs> that's a spicy a meatball. <laughs> to err is human. To forgive is bovine. <laughs> I'm running out of cow jokes here, people. Thanks, Diane. The static has been blamed for a chain collision this morning on the Crosstown Express, killing one person and injuring five. Witnesses say that a delivery truck lost wire contact and manual systems failed to take over, causing it to hit another vehicle. This accident coincides with a new report from CTU, claiming definitive evidence that the static is caused by heavy sunspot activity. The report has already come under fire from several. 
Must be some kind of viral ad. Cricket's coming home, folks, and the critters are knocking them down like there's no tomorrow. In the opening innings, the Kasawi fast bowlers came out gunning for glory. Zoe, there's a message. My mobile's beeping. Only firing the critters got done this summer. Was that a post? No reason for such drastic measures this time. The tourists were found haplessly. This is an automatic reminder sent by. Shit. The gym. I have to hurry. So I have a thing for pillows. We've got a service that takes care of the house and the laundry, but they only stop by once a week. I'm glad I don't have to share a bathroom with Dad. He's messy. My favourite place in the world. I take the longest showers. I mean, what else is there to do? Good morning, Zoe. Dad, what are you still doing home? Having my coffee? The train's not leaving until one o'clock, so I thought I'd sleep in for a change. Train? What train? The train for Bombay. Bombay? Good Lord, Zoe. Did you forget already? We spoke about it on Tuesday. I'm going on a business trip to Bombay, remember? Oh, Bombay, right. I thought that was next... Oh, wait. It's today Thursday. How pathetic is that? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Well, at least you're up before noon. That's something. So, do you have any plans this morning? I mean, what's left of it? Um, I'm going to the gym. See? You still have passion for something. It's either that or scan the wanted ads and get depressed about all the jobs I don't qualify for. If you feel that way, why don't you go back to school? Dad, don't start. I'm sorry, Zoe, but you're obviously not happy here either. Change your major. Biotech's not the only thing Cape Town's got to offer. Hell, why not change university? I'll help you. In fact, Bombay's got a great school for bioengineering. I could stop by while I'm there. We've had this discussion already. Oh, I wish it was that easy. Don't you think I miss having direction and ambitions? Now I'm just... Oh, I just don't know what I want. Can you please understand that? I need time. Fine, I won't push. I'm happy to have you home, Zoe. I just hate to see you like this. So do I, Dad. So do I. Listen, Dad. Would you mind terribly if I had a few people over tonight? You're asking me if you can have a party. No, not a party. More like a, a soiree. Ah, oh, right. Uh, I'm guessing there won't be any boys or alcohol at the soiree? There definitely won't be any drugs. How's that? Hmm. You know how to put things into perspective, Zoe. All right. Where did you ever need my permission anyway? I know how to play you, Dad. That's what daughters do. So, what's happening in Bombay? We're signing a contract with a new biotech outfit, and they need me to do another on-site evaluation. Oh, that sounds really, really boring. I thought you wanted to do more lab work. I did. I do. This is what happens when you get a promotion. Serves you right for having ambitions. So when are you coming back? I'm not actually sure. It could take a few days. It could be as much as two weeks. Really? Two weeks? I have the house to myself for... I, I mean, I have to be alone for two weeks. Yes, and we talked about this on Tuesday as well. Oh, sorry. My mind's just elsewhere. <laughs> I'll say. Buy me something in Bombay. 
Something exotic. An alarm clock, maybe? Funny. How's work going? Are you okay? You know, I can't remember the last time you asked me about my job. We just don't talk about it much. Zoe, we never talk about it. When were you ever interested in my job? I don't know. Forget it. I'm just trying to be nice. Gesture appreciated, Zoe. Work's going well. My promotion's keeping me busy. I've noticed. We haven't sat down together for dinner since Christmas Eve. I'm sorry. I just want to settle in, get on top of things. They've given me a lot of responsibility. I know, I know. Don't worry about it, okay? I'm glad things are going well at work. I should hurry. I was supposed to be at the gym already. Have a nice trip, okay? So you're not sure when you're coming back? It could take a while, depending on how the inspections go. And I have some other business to take care of in Bombay. Really? What is it? Oh, just work stuff. There are several biotechs headquartered in Bombay, and I need to take some meetings. Call me if there's anything. If I don't pick up right away, it means I'm in a meeting or a, inside a secure facility. I promise I'll call you back as soon as I can. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Be good, okay? Yeah, yeah. Bye, Dad. Have a safe trip, okay? I will. Bye, sweetheart. Jardanda Rose. It's even less exciting than it sounds. Once upon a Morning, sweetie. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Hi, Liv. I'm going to the gym and I'm running a bit late, so... Hey, listen. I've got something you should take a look at. You're not in a rush, are you? I can't be late again. John was going to lecture me about my lack of commitment. Okay, sweetie. Later. You really need to see this. Sure. I'll pop in after I'm done. For a jog? Yep, well, I'm actually heading down to the gym for a quick workout before lunch. Hey, weren't you supposed to be there already? Yeah, I'm running a bit late. You should hurry. Jamma won't be happy. I know, I know. I'm on my way. All right, we'll see you there. That's where my gym is. Ah, there you are. Right on time for a change. I know I'm late sometimes, I'm sorry. I don't want to waste your time. 
It's not just my time you're wasting, but also your own time. If your heart's not in it, Zoe, why bother? You're very talented, but talent matters little if you lack passion and commitment. I guess I just don't care as much about martial arts as I used to. It doesn't seem as important to me anymore. I want to be more passionate about it, but... Then maybe you should consider doing something else with your time. But let's leave it at that for now and get started on today's lesson. Ready? Go! Stay focused, Zoe. That's it. Keep it up. Good. Block, Zoe, block. Stay focused, Zoe. That was good, Zoe. But practice makes perfect. Let's start over. Okay. Good. Positions. Ready? Go. Did I teach you that one? Stay focused, Zoe. Block, Zoe, block. Stay focused, Zoe. Excellent work, Zoe. Not bad, Zoe. Not bad. Let's go again. Okay. Good. Positions. Ready? Go. <gasps> Block, Zoe, block. Excellent. Stay focused, Zoe. Excellent. Excellent work, Zoe. You're improving, Zoe. About time. Ready for another round? Okay. Good. Ready? Go. <laughs> That's it. Keep it up. That's it. Keep it up. Stay focused, Zoe. That was good, Zoe. No, I think I've had enough for today. Very well. We'll pick it up again tomorrow. And do try to be on time. I've been working with drama for years and years, but she's just too demanding. I can't ever please her. Sorry. 
don't believe it. That video is following me, I swear to God. And doesn't Jarma always keep that screen switched off? This is getting a bit freaky. Hey, Liv. Hey, are you done? I just got out. I'm on my way. Coolness. I have an appointment later this afternoon, so I just wanted to make sure you remembered. I'll be there in a few minutes. See ya. I see those t What would I say to them? Stay in school? I think his name is Iqbal. I only know him by his reputation, and the word is apparently sleazeball. You can still get organic vegetables in this market. When I was in high school, we used to sit around that fountain eat ice cream and gossip. Everything looks so good. Those Wattillas are probably a lot smarter and more versatile than Wonkers, but I don't care. Wonkers is special. If Liv doesn't have it in stock, she can get it for you in 24 hours. Whatever it is. Did you see that? See what, sweetie? On the screen. I saw the same thing earlier today. It was like... I don't quite know how to describe it. Like interference, but not just noise. It was clear, but distorted. Like a bad dream. Mm, no. Could have been the static. It's been getting worse by the day. I even got disconnected from the wire for a few moments this morning. Scariest moment of my life since the collapse. Not counting that time I rode the mechanical bull. Never again. So, what did you see? There's this snowy landscape with a black house and a little girl who looks like a ghost. And she speaks to me. Save her. Find her. Really, really freaky stuff. Wow, that is scary. I haven't seen that. I definitely would have remembered. Are you sure you just haven't been watching too many horror movies lately? I mean, spend enough hours in front of the screen and you're bound to start seeing stuff. Don't you start with that too, Liv. I'm already feeling guilty enough as it is. I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean anything. No, it's okay. It's me. I don't know what's going on with me. I can barely get out of bed in the morning. Every day is exactly the same, and I'm not doing anything to change that. There's no school to go to, no job, and I barely spend time with my friends. What's left of them? I see you all the time, don't I? You haven't abandoned me. No. But that's because it's so easy to come here. If it requires any more effort on my part... And that goes for everything. I'm on autopilot. It's probably exhaustion, sweetie. You've had a tough year. You dropped out of school broke up with Reza, moved back home. All of that's bound to take its toll, no? You're probably right. And I do complain way too much, don't I? I don't want to be the whiny, apathetic Zoe. I want to be me again. Anyway, enough about me. You wanted to show me something. What was that, sweetie? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's something really cool. Oh, sorry. Before I forget... Dad's out of town, and I'm having some people over tonight. Would you like to come? 
I was going to unpack a new delivery tonight, but... Sure. Work can always wait. Who's coming? The usual suspects. Great. Sounds fun. How about Reza? I haven't seen him in ages. I really miss him. Any chance you guys are getting back together soon? He's not the right guy for me at this point. I mean, I love him to death. He's great. But it was getting too serious. What I mean is, I was getting too serious. It was just way too early for that. And that whole long distance thing was becoming a problem for us. It's pretty ironic that as soon as we're broken up, I moved back here. Five minutes away from his apartment. Not that it makes a difference. I'm just happy we're still friends and that we're comfortable with each other. You and him are my two best friends. I don't ever want to lose that. But getting back together... Nope. Besides, I don't think he'll be coming to the party. He's been really busy. So, eight-ish? I'll bring my charm and a bottle of tequila. Now, I have something to show you. What is it? WSL suppressor software. Okay. Let's pretend for a second that I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Can do. It's like, uh, a cloak for your mobile. Want to be invisible? Just tap the screen. Well, actually, you select menu and applications, and then the icon that looks like a penguin, and then activate. But that's like, one, two, three, okay, four taps. Small price to pay, seeing as you're now invisible, right? I don't get it. I'm invisible. No, you're not invisible. That is impossible. Except with a very, very expensive combat suit, and those things don't hold up to a can of spray paint. What this little hack does is make your mobile invisible to the eye in the sky. You're untraceable. The syndicate can't track your mobile. Mondo, cool, huh? That is cool. How does it work? You just, what, wear it to my mobile? Yup. Easy as strawberry pie. Give me a second and I'll... Oops, this is like important, sweetie. I'm buying a batch of exclusive Ethiopian mobiles directly from the factory. Real cheap. So I gotta... Take it. I'll see you later. I'll hook you up with the software when you come back, okay? Tadia Salem. Denane. Olivia imports mobiles from manufacturers and distributors in other African markets and resells them here in Casablanca at a heavy markup. Hi, Reza. Hello. Are you busy? Mm, not really. Why? I need to talk to you. Can you meet me at Mocha Loco? Sure, when? Now? I'm already on my way there. All right, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Great. See you there. Reza? Hey. One moment. Rio? Yeah, call me when you're all set up. I'm with a friend. Okay, bye. Who was that? Well, hello to you too, Zoe. Hello. So who was that? <laughs> it's good to know that some things never change. It was just business. I'm curious, that's all. I'm happy you're dating again. It's not a date, it's just... Business, I know. I just don't want you to feel awkward talking about that stuff with me. We're past that. Noted. I'll make sure to tell you about all my romantic adventures, if they ever happen. So, how are you? I'm good. Dad left for Bombay today, so I've got the house to myself. I'm having a few people over tonight. Party? Officially, it's a small get-together. By the way, if you have time, I mean, you're welcome to... You can bring anyone you want. It's just a few people, nothing big. I wish I could, but I have some stuff to take care of, work stuff. I'm really sorry, I wish I... Don't worry about it. It's, it's no big deal. Next time, okay? What's going on with you, Reza? You've been busy. Working on a story? Neck deep, as usual. 
gotten about five hours worth of sleep in the last, what, 72 hours. Sounds like you're onto something big. It could be. I haven't taken it to the hand yet. I haven't even talked to Martin about it. I need more background, more research, but it's looking... It's looking pretty big. Can you tell me anything about it? I can't, I'm sorry. Come on, not even a hint. You know I never talk about the stories I'm working on. That wouldn't be ethical. And it wouldn't be safe. I know, I'm being nosy. No, you're just being your inquisitive and curious self. I really don't feel like myself anymore. Are you okay? I am. I should be. I don't have any reason to complain. My dad's been supportive. I have everything I could possibly need. Enough money to go anywhere I want. The thing is, I don't really care about anything anymore. I don't have any goals or ambitions, and, and I hate feeling like this. It's not me. But you felt like that for a while, though, haven't you? I mean, it's what you told me when you broke up with... I know, Reza. But I thought it was just a passing phase, and now... Now it's starting to worry me. Is this how I'm going to be feeling for the rest of my life? I feel like I'm letting everyone down. I can't even muster up the enthusiasm or the courage to go down to Cape Town to visit Katrina and David. What does that tell you? That you're just stuck in a rut. That's all. And it's only been a couple of months since you left Cape Town. You deserve a break. I know you're trying to make me feel better, and I appreciate that, but... I don't know. I need more than reassurances at this point. I need something to get me up in the mornings. A direction in life. A purpose. Something to... Shit. Sorry. I have to take this one. No problem. Yeah? Thanks. Okay. I'll be back soon. Just stay there. Sorry about that, Zoe. I'm a bit stressed today. You were saying? Don't worry about it. I know you've got stuff to do. Speaking of that, you said on the phone you wanted to talk. What's up? I need a favour. Sure. I don't have any other plans this afternoon. Great. It's nothing big. I just need you to go downtown and pick something up for me. What is it? Do you know where the Sishadri building is located? Mm, nope. It's not far from the hub. There's a company there called Jiva, a biotech lab run by a woman named Chang. Helena Chang. All I need you to do is pick up a package from her. She's expecting me, but I don't have time right now, and I need that package as soon as possible. I don't want to use a courier simply because it's sensitive material. Chang was quite insistent that I can't pick it up in person. I'll send her a message and tell her you're picking it up instead. Is that all right? I mean, you don't mind, do you? Not at all. Seshadri building, Jiva, Helena Chang, package. As soon as possible. And come to my apartment as soon as you have the package, okay? I'll get the hand that bites to pay you for a couple of hours' work. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing this for the feed, Reza. I'm doing it for you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I guess I should get going. And you need to go do... whatever it is you're doing. Business. Top secret stuff. About that party. Sorry, small get-together tonight. What? If I finish up early, I'll try and stop by. Okay, if you finish early. And if you can enjoy the gossip and the red wine. The way it's going, we're looking at a real girls' night in. I'll keep that in mind. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks again for helping me out, Zoe. Bye.